What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I have a light bulb in my leopard gecko tank, which I don't normally have a light bulb in my leopard gecko tank, but now I do. And that's what we're going to be talking about today, clearly, if I haven't said light bulb like 10 times. So let's just hop straight into this. Basically, for the longest time in the reptile community, anyone who owned a leopard gecko, it was always recommended that you get an under tank heater to provide warmth for your leopard gecko. Now, the reason that under tank heaters were recommended as opposed to your normal basking spotlights like halogen or heat bulbs or even UVB bulbs is because leopard geckos were considered crepuscular or nocturnal, meaning that they only come out during dawn and dusk or even just at night. And so it was believed that because they were really only out during the evening and nighttime, it wasn't necessary to provide any kind of light source that was also providing heat. Now, this was pretty much universal for, I don't know, however long people have been keeping leopard geckos. As far as I can remember, like the leopard gecko care books I used to check out from the library that were published in like 2008 or something, people were still saying under tank heaters are universally recommended. It's the best choice to heat your leopard gecko tank. And so an under tank heater is what I have had in my tank for the past few years of owning Kuzan, my leopard gecko, and what many leopard geckos have been using for a long time, basically as long as leopard geckos have been in captivity. However, since then, a lot of hobbyists and keepers have been doing just some experimentation, seeing what works best for their animal, and many people have come to realize the actual benefits of providing a heat bulb and also potentially UVB for animals that were normally only recommended to use heat mats. And so with that, I've been seeing a lot of comments on my channel regarding this specific thing and on other reptile videos about trying like a deep heat projector or halogen heat bulb for a heating source for a leopard gecko and I thought you know what let's just try it and see how my animal reacts and I can show you guys the results so that is what I did for the past month and a half I have been using this halogen heat bulb on my leopard geckos tanks and I wanted to share with you my findings keep in mind this is just my personal experience and although I've done my research I encourage you to do your research as well but I just want to share some of my findings with using a halogen heat bulb for additional heating for my leopard gecko tank. Okay, so first off, let's talk about why I'm using a halogen heat bulb and this light source as opposed to just sticking with the under tank heater. This basically comes down to science, of course, and kind of just how our animals interact with the light, or rather how the light and heat interacts with the animals. There are other videos that explain this a lot better, but basically the heat that anything produces, it's emitted as infrared A, B, or C. And so when you have heat sources that do not emit visible light, most likely they are emitting infrared C, which is helping to raise the temperatures and to warm your animal. However, if you are using a visible light source, like a halogen bulb, these heat sources are actually emitting infrared A and B. And because infrared A and B are a different wavelength, they actually have been shown to penetrate deeper into the actual skin and muscles and body of the reptile and potentially be more effective at heating them. Deep heat projectors also fall into this category because although they do not produce visible light, they've been specially designed to produce infrared A and B. Because infrared wavelengths do not necessarily need to be in visible light, although they are most commonly found in that form. I don't know if that was the best explanation. I tried my best. Someone in the comments, if you feel like elaborating, feel free to do so. There's also another video that Rebecca from Leopard Gecko Talk did that I think was really, really helpful with helping me to understand this concept of infrared A, B, and C. So you can check that out in the link below. So that's why I wanted to try a halogen heat bulb. I looked into deep heat projectors as well briefly. I went with halogen as opposed to a deep heat projector because although I know that deep heat projectors or DHPs are more attractive to Leopard Gecko owners because they don't produce visible light, I really just like the idea of having a natural circadian rhythm for my leopard gecko because I mean in the wild when you have the sun not only do you have infrared light and also UVB exposure but you also have visible light it's just it's what the entire planet kind of well the earth revolves around the sun so I really just wanted to try having this source of visible light as opposed to a DHP but I highly recommend you do some research into DHPs because that might be better suited for what you are trying to create in your environment for your gecko 
like I said, there will be more articles and links in the description for you to check out and do some more research. But let me bring you in closer so you can kind of see this. So what I ended up getting is just this little mini halogen dome. You can see it, I already have it up there. But it's these 50 watt halogen light bulbs that you can put within these. And it just makes a bit of a concentrated basking spot almost within the leopard gecko tank. You can see I have it positioned over my warm hide. You might also notice that I increased the distance using some of the, I don't know what they call them. They basically just included some extra pieces of metal so that you could increase the distance between the floor of the tank and where the leopard gecko is actually basking. I opted to use that because this tank is only 12 inches tall and I didn't want the basking spot, quote unquote, to get too warm. And to also increase the surface area with which the light and heat is hitting because naturally these halogen basking spots are a little bit more concentrated. So one of the concerns is that it can actually cause overheating in your reptile. So by moving it further away, it kind of increases the cast of the heat so it's not concentrated too much on one specific spot. So this warm side gets pretty toasty, but the cool side stays about as it is. And then keep in mind underneath this, there is also the under tank heater running. So I am using both the halogen and the heat mat in tandem to keep this tank warm. The reason I opted to do both and not just take out the under tank heater completely was because I wanted to still leave kind of that background temperature even when the light was off at night, still wanted to be able to give the leopard gecko some belly heat and not have the tank completely cool down in the evenings. Keep in mind, there's an entire temperature gradient all the way across through the tank. So this is the cool side that has virtually no heating. And then this side is what has the majority of the heat. Now, what have I learned? Okay, so over the past few months, I've kind of seen Kuzan react to this in an interesting way. At first, it seemed like he really disliked it. He spent a lot of time outside of his warm hide and spent a lot of time on the cool end of his tank. So I was a little bit worried that it just wasn't gonna work out because he actually was hiding almost more, I felt like, at least during the hours when the light was on. However, after the first couple of weeks, I noticed that he was actually kind of coming out for these brief little intervals to be out and underneath the light. But he's definitely back to more of his normal routine of being on the warm side for the majority and then on the cool side just occasionally. I think it just took him some time to kind of get used to having a different heat source, a light over there. Also, another thing you may want to keep in mind if you have like an albino leopard gecko or something of the sort, just one of those morphs that is kind of lighter, they can be more sensitive to high light. That is something to keep in mind and something you want to think about before you just jump into trying this for your gecko. I also want to mention some of the other concerns that people might have with a halogen bulb. Like I said, it's possible that it could be irritable to your leopard gecko's eyes, so just really look out for that. And keep in mind that this is not something that is on the entire day. I only have mine on for about eight hours a day. So they have the opportunity to receive that infrared A and B, but only at specific times of the day and only if they actually choose to go out under the light. There's also the entire temperature gradient throughout the tank, so they can escape it if they would like to, and Kuzan does not have to be underneath the light if he doesn't want to be. Of course, if I'm noticing any issues with the brightness of the light, then I can switch to something like a DP projector, but for now I just wanted to see what results this would yield. Also keep in mind that having a halogen heat bulb can dry out your enclosure quickly, so just make sure that your humid hide is staying damp and that your leopard gecko is not having any issues with shedding. All in all, I'm not totally sold on this whole halogen heat bulb thing because I'm still trying to examine the effects of having an actual visible light source eight hours out of the day. But again, like I said, I feel like it's more natural for the animal to kind of have this circadian rhythm and this day and night cycle where there's a light on and a light off. I still think that's really beneficial. So. We'll try it for a little bit longer and see how it works out. But that's my basic experience with using a halogen heat bulb for my leopard gecko over tank lighting and heating. Just make sure you're not turning up the heat too much and that it's only on during the day, clearly. That's basically common sense. At this point, I am kind of considering deep heat projectors more just because of the brightness of the light and just making sure that Kuzan is still comfortable. But for right now, I think this halogen is working out. And as always, I always just try to do the best for them. And if at some point he's like, I hate this and is never going on that side of the tank, I'll probably remove it. And I'll give you any updates if there are any updates in the future with how this is working out. Again, I've only been using it for the past month and a half. So take everything in this video with a grain of salt. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the thumbs up down below. Subscribe to see more of Kuzan and all my other animals, the turtles, the axolotl, 
all of them. And I will see you guys next week. Have a totally awesome day. Bye. Did you catch that? I said next week because upload schedule has been kind of sporadic lately. It's not intentional. And I promise you guys, I am absolutely still here on YouTube and will be for the foreseeable future, but life gets a little bit hectic. So you'll have to bear with me. I appreciate all of your guys' support and I'll see you guys next time.